Hello, I'm Shan and this is Life with Shan. This is a weekly reading vlog where I share throughout the week everything that I'm reading, how much I read of it, a little bit about my day to day, apparently Callie's day to day too. This week I have three physical books that I want to get through, read, start, and finish. I have already started Babel, I'm about halfway through it. I really want to finish it this week. I bought my copy of Babel in Raleigh, North Carolina, the last time I visited Riley, who is at Paint the Town Red, and I'm going to visit her again soon and I want to buy books. I was like, there's no way I can buy books when I'm visiting you if I haven't even read the ones from my last visit. I have to finish Babel. It is good. It's just heavy content wise. It's a lot of deeper topics than I'm used to, but I do really like the magical elements of it and the whole Oxford setting and English information coming from the students. There's a lot that I like about it. I just need to finish it. I'm hoping to read and finish that this week as well as as really good actually. It is Tuesday now and I started this last night I'm about 15 pages into really good actually. It's pretty good so far. <laughs> she is a upper 20s year old woman and she's going through a divorce kind of like a really big quarter life crisis almost. You kind of see her go through it. It is literary fiction. I am really enjoying it so far. It has a beautiful cover and I've heard only great things about it. Then after really good action Actually, I'm going to start and read Haley Aldridge is still here Hi, my book club which is the bookish book club we are hosting the author when we discuss this book next week and I'm very excited for it she also wrote and published the unraveling of Cassidy Holmes which is all was a book of the month pick so you can read that one but you can also read Haley Aldridge is still here which is about it's been years since anyone really thought about Haley Aldridge a child star turned Hollywood royalty, Haley spent years in LA partying and being plastered across the front pages of all the tabloids, but quietly disappeared after a whirlwind marriage and divorce and a very public breakdown. Once the media wrung every last drop out of the drama, they moved on to the next it girl, but Haley is still here. For more than a decade, she's been trapped in a conservatorship and had every aspect of her life controlled by her parents. She goes nowhere and does nothing without their approval. Her visits with her children are monitored. Her fan mail is censored without their approval. Her visit and she's a prisoner in her own home. She thought things might change once she was well enough to work, but the restrictions got even tighter as she continued to bring in money. The only thing her parents care about, Haley is beginning to realize that this nightmare is her actual life and she's sick of it. When the hashtag help Haley starts to emerge on social media and the public starts thinking critically about what happened to her all those years ago, there's finally some momentum on her side. With an upcoming court date to review the status of the conservatorship, Haley might finally have a chance to break free. So there's a lot going on in this one and it looks and sounds very good and I'm excited to chat with the author next week. Well, when this video is live, it's this week. But yeah, so that's it. It's Tuesday. I've got three physical books I want to get through this week. I just started Stone Cold Fox on audio today and it's very good so far. Two chapters in, loving it. I've heard and read only amazing things about Stone Cold Fox and I'm excited to see what the hype is all about. Well, Let's get reading. Let's get working. I'm in my typical t-shirt and shorts today. It's a lounge day. I do have a few social things this week, which will be nice that I'll dress up a little bit for. But when I'm working, it's t-shirts and shorts kind of vibes for me. All right, it is now Wednesday. I just finished Stone Cold Fox during my car ride over to Run Club and I really enjoyed it. It was twisty, fast paced, lots of secrets, lots of plot twists I didn't quite see coming or really think about in advance and I just really enjoyed it. Essentially the main character is a female who is dating and wants to marry this very rich man. However, her past, which it does go between timelines, in her past her and her mother were con artists and she's kind of scammed her way to where she is today. So it was very intriguing to see how that went with dating this new guy, her past secrets, and just all the little things that went on in it. It was good. I really liked it and I have not seen a 
bad review for it yet so I think you should like it you would like it too so check out stone cold fox the audio was phenomenal i did not sit down and physically read it which i always say because i think that changes how one would review it but i did really enjoy the audiobook last night i read 10 more pages of babel and then 80 pages of really good actually still enjoying both of them a lot i did head over to run club early today because we're running along the shoreline so i wanted to do a little picnic and read and journal before run club near the beach and i have my shakespeare and company tote bag along with my belt bag or fanny pack my mom always says that's a fanny pack because essentially it is it's a fanny pack we just call them belt bags because it's a new trend and we want it to seem cool like we didn't make fun of fanny packs just a few years ago but i do love my little fanny pack and i'm excited to get usage out of it today chat soon Hello, it is now Thursday. I'm getting ready to go to my independent bookstore and <laughs> meet V.E. Schwab. She's doing an author event tonight and I just showered. I'm about to get ready, do my hair, do my makeup. And Callie also just showered as you saw. <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated throughout the night. <laughs> All right, here is the fit. It's an exercise dress from Outdoor Voices that I put my little vest over. It just gives V.E. Schwab vibes, kind of like dark academia fantasy almost. And I straightened my hair, which I have not done in years. So I'm hoping that the last time I cut my hair, it doesn't show that it's uneven. And while I got ready, I played Daisy Jones and the Six. And Callie brought her toy out. And I drink water, <laughs> not on my cup. <laughs> We're going to the Oxford Exchange in downtown Tampa for tonight's event with V.E. Schwab, which I'll be going to that bookstore again later on next month to meet Christina and Lauren, Christina Lauren. And Callie just had a bath. I know I said that, but I love bath day. She always looks so cute. Callie. Yeah. Good girl. She's just a little scruffy on bath day, but she's still perfect. Good girl. B. E. Schwab was phenomenal. She was so personal, funny, vulnerable. I loved every single thing she said. I wish I could have recorded all of it. She was so inspirational with what she does and inspiring others to write if they want to write and take on that journey. Oh, I, I loved everything about tonight. And it was $20 for my ticket, and it also came with an autographed copy of the new paperback of Addie LaRue, and I am obsessed with it. I'm going to have to reread it and annotate it, but oh, I loved it. Anyways, I don't know if this whole phone in the mirror thing is working out, but I like the mirror. It was a wedding gift and it's it's pretty cool. I love the mirror. It's hiding my now playing sign for the records. This is the record stand. Um, but I do really like the mirror, so I figured you guys might want to see it. Anyways, <laughs> tomorrow morning I'm getting up early. I have a 15 mile long run. I'm going to try to do pickups in it again, just kind of like the other day or last weekend. I'm excited for that. And then we have our mental health launch with Grace by Shan and I meet with our sewers. And I just always, Fridays are good days. Then Saturday, I have another medium long run. And then Sunday, I have something really fun planned with some girls in the area that I'm excited for. It's going to be a good weekend. I've gotten a lot of work done. I'm feeling productive and I'm feeling good mentally, which I don't usually feel that well near the end of the week. But I'm doing good today. And like I said, I straightened my hair, which I have not done in years. And I'm surprised with how well it stayed for throughout the event, especially with the Florida humidity. I am bummed that I have the long run tomorrow because it's not gonna look this way after I get all sweaty and put it in a ponytail. So take it all in while we still can. For reading, I started V.E. Schwab audiobook. 
I cannot think of the name of it. I think it's Volicious. Um, I started that today and it's really good. It's basically these villains, I think. They're trying to see how people can get superpowers by putting them really close to death and going from there. And it's it's very good, especially now that I've met her and I know her writing process a little bit better and her thoughts on everything. So I'm really enjoying that. I am still reading Babel. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish that this week, but I have until next week before I go to North Carolina, so hopefully before then. And then I'm about 200 pages into really good, actually, and it's still fairly good. Um, it is kind of dragging. I haven't read literary fiction in a while, so I just kind of feel like I'm reading this character's diary through her divorce, which is a little challenging, but it's relatable. I have not gotten divorced and hopefully I don't get divorced, but it is relatable of trying to find out who you are again in life, especially in your 20s. I appreciate that aspect of it. But yeah, I think that's all the reading updates for today. I'm hoping to finish the audiobook tomorrow and really good actually by Saturday evening so then I can pick up Haley Aldridge is still here and read that hopefully by the end of Sunday. And that's pretty much all that's going on. You guys got to see Callie after her bath, but you did not get to see her balancing a treat on her nose. So here's that. I love Callie. <laughs> She's asleep right now. She's a senior go girl. She's a senior girl. She's 11 years old. So when nine o'clock rolls around, she's sitting by the stairs waiting for us to come up and go to bed with her. But she did leave her toy out just for us. Anyways, thanks for coming along. I'll see you guys in the morning for my ride.